Mark and Paulette here, the two travelers in Mexico. They're still here. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, Jim and Karen uh, at the Clifford Comedy Hour. And today we're going to talk to you about a number of subjects, mostly around uh, retirement, living in Mexico full time, and some of the stuff that you have to go through to get certain things set up. Uh, and the first subject is going to be going to be like rental, rental leases. leases yeah mm -hmm. now oh, you're looking illegal so. you're right. sucking so, on a <laughs> mint in my ear i'm going to, i'm just gonna okay kill now you know what i mean by the clifford comedy <laughs> oh, this, this, this is non-stop over here this is non-stop <laughs> it is so you can't get a mint I think if we gave them Ritalin, it would actually slow the motion. <laughs> well, I understood that drugs were free here, yeah. and I want to know. Yeah. So, we're going to talk to you about, uh, the first subject is going to be rental leases. All right, well, just talk about, you know, we have a lease. We actually are going to be signing it Monday. Very excited. I think that um, Mark and Paulette are more excited. <laughs> Then we but are. I, I'm, and Jim and I are pretty excited Karen's about it. Karen's fine to stay here as long yeah. as she'd like to. Uh -huh. Jim, that's uh, questionable. Goosey goosey. <laughs> uh, but, uh, so we're going through the lease process. And as everything in life, and even more so, I think, in Mexico because of the translation and the, and the process, it's, uh, everything's a process. And this has been an arduous one. Right. And That's you, the first big word. Right. And you can, yay. <laughs> yay. <laughs> Thank you. One big word. Uh, and you can forget about getting a, a rental contract in English because it really just doesn't happen yeah. here. It's in Spanish and you'll have to either know, one who's, know someone who speaks Spanish or or translate it yourself, or in Jim and Karen's case, you yeah, actually went to an attorney. We decided on an attorney. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. we're, we're big on attorneys. We, we yeah. We, <laughs> so your attorney went through your contract. Um, and the attorney, he explained that we're responsible for everything. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If the water, if the water heater breaks, we're going to pay for that to be I fixed. I think we're responsible uh -huh. for COVID. Well, um, first, yeah. let, me, let me back flag. up a little bit. When you you have to read through your contract carefully they yes. got an attorney to do it we use translator um, when we did ours two different places mm -hmm. but you got to read through it carefully because there could be some hidden surprises yes uh, they had they hired an attorney to look at theirs and what were hidden surprises for you water heater if it breaks we got to fix it appliances yeah. overall we have to fix them mm -hmm. right. um, if we break the lease it costs Three months of rent to break the lease. Mm -hmm. And it's a one year lease. <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter how good your credit is, in it's not United good in States. the United right. States. They want a cosigner. Mm -hmm. A and guarantor. A guarantor, cosigner. Guarantor. So that's a little bit of a surprise. And that has to be if you don't want that, you got to try to figure out how to work around it. There's companies that do it, Paulette yeah. and Mark went through that. Yeah. We did We it. simply cried and screamed a lot, and seems like that may have worked. Well, I think laying down the floor in a fetal position helped. Yes, we were in a fetal <laughs> position <laughs> crying. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that was Jim. Yeah. What was, there was another surprise in there. Um, everything was included in ours, all the utilities, uh, cable, uh, Wi-Fi, gas, electric, water, but if we go over two hundred pesos a month no, or two thousand pesos. pesos in a month, which is a hundred US pay dollars. The extra. So all of our utilities, cable, Wi Fi, electric Gas, whatever. I just went through that. Has to come up to a hundred. Yeah, but I'm well, going to do it again that, because I want to. It's done for. He doesn't it's done, listen to it, anybody. It's done no. for effect. No. Well, I don't listen what to you. What the effect do um, you want us to? <laughs> to do in a any lot? case, a hundred dollars does sound like a whole. Doesn't sound like a whole bunch of money. Not it was in like, the well, United States. Everything. Not in the United States for all those utilities. She's going to tell you different now because yeah. I feel a little bit better after talking to Paulette and Mark. Mm -hmm. What do utilities cost? Okay. Well, I'm going to give Usually. you. Yeah. Okay. Um, water, you get that bill every two months. For Mark and I, it ran about 
ten dollars every two bucks. Yeah. Two hundred pesos. Or two hundred pesos. Sorry, two hundred pesos. Mm -hmm. About ten. 10 US dollars every two months. Um, gas for us, we were responsible for that um, and our water. And the way that the gas worked is you have to check your little propane uh, meter to see where it's at to know when to call the gas company. You can put in as much or as little gas as you want to. For us, when they came out, um, we had to pay right then and there. Right. That's how it worked for us anyhow. Mm -hmm. Um, so, like I said, if you put in, you know, 90%, 80% uh, gas, usually, they don't usually put in 100% most of the time. Most of the time, they'll go with 80. Right. And so, we're, talk, we're talking about percentage of filling the tank. Right. Um, but anyhow, so that could last, like, just for an example, when we moved into our house here, mm -hmm. we paid, how much was it for the gas? And we had the tank filled up 80%, it was we, empty. We paid about 150 US dollars. Right. Th th about 3,100 pesos. Right, um, and you said that you checked it and we were at like 65%, maybe yeah. 60 now or something? Yeah, about, I checked it, we checked it a couple of weeks ago after we'd been here about two months, and we were down to about 65%. Yeah. So. But remember, Paulette's uh, oven hasn't been working, so that true. That My is, oven so hasn't she's been not working. cooking as much as she may normally have right. cooked. True, Which, but also I had workers here that were using their tools and everything okay. too. On so, gas. Gas. oh no, no, that was electric. electric. <laughs> Never mind. So. Scratch that. Um, yeah, that would have been electric. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, and we really haven't gotten our electric bill yet. But anyhow, so the. The water and the electric bill comes about every two months. You'll get those. Cool. Um, and like we've always paid ours at OXO. These mm. guys don't have to worry about it. It's included in the price of their um, monthly rental. Yes. So they won't be responsible mm. for that. The only thing that we were telling um, Jim and Karen that they need to do, and that is to know when their gas is getting low. Mm -hmm. um, because the gas people need to be called to fill up the tank, although they won't have to pay it. It's it's in their um, agreement that that's all, all included. Right. But they still got to know when it's getting low to make that phone call. Mm -hmm. well, and company. living with Jim, um, having enough gas has rarely been a problem. <laughs> yeah. Rarely, rarely. I have plenty of gas. Just keep beans in his diet. He's good to go. There you go. Um, oh. But on the subject of leases, like on our very first lease uh, in Morelia, it said that we were responsible for the IVA tax. Um, we had that taken out, yes. and you know the owner had no problem with that. But it's very mm -hmm. important to read your lease carefully. It is really, really important. important. Like I said, either get a friend that's mm -hmm. Mexican that can translate it for you, use a Google Translator, mm -hmm. or hire an attorney to look over it for you and tell you, you know. Uh, yeah. the just of the lease right. and if there's something that needs to be taken out or whatever mm -hmm. that's something that and he translated it mm -hmm. to English for mm -hmm. us too mm -hmm. so and we knew exactly what we and were on doing. another yeah. note too Karen is Karen was a property manager and, and was manager of a very large property in the United States and even at that knowing the rules in the United States yeah. that lease was very far into her she very. didn't really understand right. mm -hmm. Didn't Especially in Spanish, she didn't understand right. anything. Well, we didn't understand, we anything. understand hola and como esta, and mm -hmm. that wasn't on the lease. Mm -hmm. No. So I but, mean, we needed. But translate. even translated in English, there was a lot of different different areas that are hit, different legal ease mm -hmm. that's right. used in it. So don't right. just assume because you may have been a leaser your whole life or been in the business that this is going to translate over into it, a foreign country. And, and, it's just, and what we were told, even by the lawyer, is. There isn't a standard lease, there, so yeah, you there, really yeah. need to know what's in that piece of paper. Anything we tell you on here about our lease doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be on That's your right, lease. Right. So you need to be real careful. Yes. What you're, in fact, I'm going to take my glasses off. To, you need to be really careful. How did that look? That, that, you like that? that? How do you like that? that okay. It, it looks at it. Your hair's still looking good too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's well, good. Is it popped up? Sure. Yeah. Oh, really? It looks good. Honest. Okay. Um, so, but for us, for Mark and I here in San Luis, we had to go through a guarantor company. Mm -hmm. um, we had to pay them. I think it was about 
three hundred and fifty US. Yeah, three hundred and fifty US yeah. dollars. Time, I mean. We had to sign a slip for mm -hmm. each month and you guys well, I am going, going to be the guarantor on, I think I'm the guarantor yeah, on the lease. we had to show a lot of financials and like you said, a lot of crying and a lot of, mm -hmm. I did a, a lot of crying. And, yeah, yeah, and I, I did. She did the I'm, crying, he did the fetal position yeah. and it worked. I did worked, not fetal you know. position. I got strong yeah. for change. Yeah. I actually was upset. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no fetal position here. I'm a man. And the last thing is... <clears throat> <laughs> Sorry. Garbage, garbage in Mexico is, is free. They pick up three times a week and that is a free service. Well, so, what, with the caveat. In oh, well, Morelia was in different. Mor in, Morelia, in Morelia, yeah, it was like... Um, it was just a private service. They'd come around right. and ring a, a bell. In Morelia, and that's right have to be down there with your garbage and you leave 20 pesos tip or whatever yeah. but if your garbage is picked up by like a normal looking garbage truck city service then it's free right so he's right in Morelia yeah. we did pay it was a private mm -hmm. people that did it in their trucks Ooh. um and it was like yeah. 20 pesos that we would leave yeah. if we had more bags right. then I we would leave like 40 pesos which is about Two bucks. Two dollars. Yeah. Um, but here it's free three times a week, so that covers that on utilities. I'm gonna I'm gonna just say something. I don't I'm know sure you will. Even make the video, but I'm just gonna say it. Uh huh. I guess part of part of the free garbage here, since I've been in St. Louis Potosi, SLP, <gasps> I haven't seen garbage on the street. Really haven't seen it. Yeah, no, in yeah. very like, clean. You'll see yeah. it yeah. once in a while. It's, you will. It's there. It's yeah. yeah it you don't see there. it often though. You know, it probably depends on the different areas. I mean, not That's not. True. I mean, in San Luis there. Potosi, in Oaxaca, in you know Veracruz. We're and, staying in um, a very high area. Well, There's yes, two, and Mark and Paulette do live in a very very high end area. <laughs> no, we don't. Where all the very affluent <laughs> people live. Yeah, and he's blowing smoke yeah. again. <laughs> don't believe him. Yeah. Neither here nor there. He's, he's, his meds aren't quite right. We're working to figure that out. All right. <laughs> All right, the next, the next subject we're going to talk about is phones, Towson. Phones. All right, you guys okay. want to start with phones? I'm going to start phones. When you, you guys go. came here, I'm going to start go. phones. Being the man in the relationship, when we got off the airline, the first thing we wanted to do was establish a Mexican number. And what I did is I went into an OXO with limited Spanish. At that point in time, I knew Ola, and I bought mm -hmm. at a... Mexican SIM card, prepaid two. SIM card, two of them. One for my one. Cost me two hundred pesos, and we got a month worth of service. That $10. included ten dollars each, twenty dollars total. That included calls, text, and data. Unlimited. Unlimited for one month, ten dollars each, twenty dollars. We had everything we needed. As opposed to what we were paying in the United States for that kind of thing was could have been huge. Oh yeah, huge. Oh, yeah. Just, way just, just more money. Just depends on, just depends on who your service is. Mm -hmm. True. And we go in once a month. Once a month, and we go in. And we pay another two hundred pesos and get per? to keep our per person four hundred pesos total to keep our phone number and both. attract them. Mm -hmm. And it works fine. Mm -hmm. we're, we're doing great with it. We'd like to pay online. I can't figure out how to do that or if it's Being even possible. Being the man in the family. <laughs> yes. But at least we got phone service and that's because of me. Okay. Now we have Telcel too. Ours is a little bit more expensive, but Mark wanted to go with the higher plan. And we actually went into a tail cell right. um, to sign up there, but he wanted he wanted um, more data in case when we're traveling. But theirs is unlimited, so I don't understand that. Well, we can also pay ours online, and they can and not have to run around. Yeah, but we're paying. We we pay like five hundred and fifty pesos uh -huh. combined, right? No, oh, each five hundred and fifty yeah, each, each mm -hmm. which is about twenty seven dollars. Each. Right, each. Yeah, but so he 54. wanted he. I think that we can go cheaper myself. Yeah, he always thinks we can go cheaper. I do on everything. I do. 
anyhow, so we pay more because he wanted the data for like when we travel and stuff like that and we need to figure out where we're going. So that's that. Um, okay, now, one interesting thing about Tau Cell is you cannot make 866-800 any toll-free calls on right. your Tau Cell. Right. We have never been able to no, make right. that. Can't, you get somebody talking in Spanish and all you know is that They're you're not going to get through. And laughing. Hey, they're basically, <laughs> somebody gets on they're and They're calling sits. you names and laughing. Yeah, and even even out. if you do the plus one, it's, yeah. it, it's still it go does through. not work. It, work, it so, will not. You'll not get a, a toll free number. Right. Work. So the next thing we're going to talk about is needing a U.S. phone number. And they're going to talk about what they did, and we'll mm -hmm. talk about what we I'm did. Gonna I'm going to let me because I literally, the person, since he's the man of the family, oh. I handle all the finances. And so, um, I just had a literally a meltdown when I first came to Mexico because I was getting locked out systematically of some of my accounts. We originally were going to Google, uh, get a Google number, which I did, but tried to port over my number. Well, my number was associated with where I just retired, so Google was picking it up as a business phone, so therefore wouldn't port. So then, plus they don't port to Mexico anyway. We and they won't, later. and no, they and they won't port Mexican numbers. So, Period. Um, or out of country, out of USA uh, numbers. So uh, I was, like I said, systematically getting locked out of accounts because so many of the accounts, like with um, American Express or with Chase or different, you know, wherever your banking is. Mm -hmm. So much of it is when they see now on um, internet that you are are coming from a odd place or some place that isn't what it's n normal. They'll ask you to verify your information and they hit that number. Well, you can't. We couldn't use foreign numbers on our accounts, mm -hmm. so uh, you couldn't put the, in the code to let them know. Basically. To let them know what was me. Mm -hmm. So um, imagine my. Frustration, angst, and angst, 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 anger, yeah. uh, every emotion you can imagine. Although she never went into the fetal position, I'll no. vouch for that. Thank you. I just. Nor did I. I took action. <laughs> yeah, just keep telling yourself that. <laughs> He's the man of the family. Uh -huh. yeah. We're joking when we say that. Can you sense our sarcasm? So, what Jimmy did do in his extensive research is get us a. I went into Skype and found out that for $20, Initial we could fee, set up yeah, fee. Yeah, we could literally purchase a US number and you can choose the number, you can choose where the number is. From. So we chose a number that was real close to where we used to live. Almost nobody would realize that we even are in Mexico now. Mm -hmm. Because we ported, we ported that number, or it ported, I don't know, Mark is good mm -hmm. with porting things, he knows that, but well, they basically if somebody ones. dials the American number, it rings through on my phone just like it's a regular phone call. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's $20, we paid a year of service, cost seven ninety nine a month, so it was roughly $96. We now have an American number, we you have a Mexican number, and our friends in... United States. He doesn't have call. any friends. Yeah. No, we have that's two. Delusional. Yeah. We have two. No. Um, <laughs> she has a bunch. Are you, they just, yeah. are you I sure? Have. You're I'm along for the ride. Are you sure your use of the term friends is plural? <laughs> <laughs> friend. Well, in any case, I have a friend who can actually call yeah. me in the Mexico. In the and, Mexico? Yeah. And it comes in through on my Mexico. phone. It acts just like an American number. Yeah. Yeah. We can call from yeah. it to it, and we can call 800 numbers now. Yes. So, so they got to pick the number. You yeah. got to pick the number. You got to pick like the area code. Yes. Everything. The country, yep. whatever you want to do. For your and setup. the service includes all calls in Mexico, which doesn't matter because all my calls in Mexico through Telcel are free. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It includes any call to the United States. Yeah. And it includes all calls to Canada. Canada. Mm -hmm. So which if you Jimmy ever have the urge to call somebody to ask for a poutine recipe. Three. There you go. There's yeah. three big words. There okay. you go. Yep. I know. All right. That's a shout out to Canada. Yeah. <laughs> and then for he us. He needs friends. Oh. Yeah, I need friends. <laughs> leave leave your number below if you want to oh. become <laughs> Jimmy Jim's friend. Yeah. friend. I'll call you. Please. Yeah. Or a poutine <laughs> recipe, either way. Yeah. 
he, he just needs a moment to collect his thought. <laughs> um, and for us, we went with uh, what's called Magic Jack. Mm -hmm. And we did that back in 2015 when we were traveling to figure out where we were going to retire. Uh -huh. We went to uh, Ecuador the first time. And so we Spain wanted something Portugal. where we could... Yeah, but we went to Ecuador the first time, uh -huh. didn't we? Oh, it was, no, no, Spain, it was Spain Portugal. Portugal the first Sorry. Time. And then we went to Ecuador twice after that. Uh -huh. But we needed something to call family and be in uh -huh. contact with them being out of the country. So we went with Magic Jack. Mm -hmm. We did that through a Walmart. Yeah. We bought it through Walmart. Right. Now, this was back in, you know, 2015. Yeah. But with the Magic Jack, as long as we're connected to a Wi Fi network, we can receive a call anywhere in the world. With Skype, you don't have to be. Right. At all. Well. Skype operates off your cell service if you're not connected. Right. Which I think is better than ours, but that's what mm -hmm. we knew, that's what we got. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it may not have existed back then. And remember, technology is going to change. Ago. It really is. It's changing on the dime. Uh -huh. right. We looked at Google Fi, and at this point, Google Fi was telling us that Google Fi works best with Google phones. Mm -hmm. We have um, uh, iOS iPhones. system, iPhones. So they said it was more of a, a, um, a mm. what is it, a beta? A beta program on ours. So that didn't work. We looked at trying to mm -hmm. do... It, a lot of different yeah. things. And, yeah. uh, so, yeah, so we signed up for Magic Jack back in 2015. We've extended it since then. Our contract goes until 2022, September. Uh -huh. um, and initially, I think we had to pay like $35 to pick our number. Mm -hmm. Like you were saying, yours was 20. 20. Yeah. We, you know, you pick the area that you want, area code, and you pick your number. There's mm -hmm. like a list of it. You pick what you want. Mm -hmm. And that stayed with us. Although each year... Um, when I extended the uh, Magic Jack to last longer, it's like they charge you like $3 extra mm -hmm. a year to keep the phone number, whatever. Yeah. But so it's cost us, I think, about $130, yeah. something like that, for about five years, yeah. something like that. Um, so that's how... Um, but also remember, you have works. to be on Wi-Fi. Yeah, use. we have to have Wi-Fi. So if you got bad Wi-Fi, you can have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I Probably. have many times talking to the bank and stuff like that. Uh, they can't hear me very well. Then they have to call me back, and it it really isn't the best service. I don't think. Um, but that's what we got back in 2015. Mm -hmm. That's what we have until September of 2022. And then we'll look at some other thing. Right. You'll probably look at Skype. I'll right. show you how to use it. Mm -hmm. Right. And then what's, what's really popular here in Mexico? What is? What's What's up? What's What's up? What's 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 it's very, very popular here in Mexico. Everybody, everybody uses, uses it. it. Everybody. Everybody. Yeah. Everybody. And you can. Our taxi driver uses uh -huh. yeah. yeah. You can call. You can text. Um, you can also Same. video. Can you video call? I'm trying to think. Yeah. No. I think, yeah, you, can I think you can. Call. I think as you can. As long as I have call. WhatsApp too. Yeah. And you can send documents. I've ended up having to send a lot of documents. Mm -hmm. So it was easy on my phone. I could take a picture of it. Mm -hmm. And I can just upload it to it. It really is. But seriously, everybody. But let's understand too that it's it will use an American number or a Mexican number, Whatever but if you're in Mexico you're and you have a Mexican number, it's working on your Mexican number. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're not getting another American number. You still need something. If you want an American number, you have to use Skype, Magic Jack, or right. whatever. Google right. Fi if you have a Google phone. Right. And it works fine. Like I talk to um, friends in the U.S. on WhatsApp. That's not a problem at yeah. all. Um, so it, you know, like for no, us, we would have easy. to use our Mexican no, number, mm -hmm. but in great. the U.S., you can use your U.S. number and you can talk, you know, right. everybody can talk. It doesn't matter. So. And the important thing so. to remember is it's a data call, not a cellular service call. What do you want? Right. 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 Oh, please. All right. Well, I think that's a wrap on this one. I think so. Sorry. I think it's time for his nap. <laughs> and his medication. <laughs> uh, I don't know how he got meds. <laughs> I don't know how he got meds. And if you guys see us here again, seriously, just come in and 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 rescue them. <laughs> honestly, honestly now we're we probably will be out of here soon and hopefully in our next, new house yep, and you're week. all invited to come over and see the house or the apartment when it's done mm -hmm. 
We're gonna have a video of that. Mm -hmm. I took Mark and I don't mind them videoing the house. I'm gonna try to keep her out of the house so she doesn't mm -hmm. annoy me about how Not bad I go. am and how forgetful I am. And Jimmy has promised to wear more than just holy underwear. When <laughs> That's why we had to sit at the table oh. this time. It's just getting yeah, embarrassing. But he hasn't realized I don't have pants on right now, yeah. so that's... So, Which is just a treat to sit next to. It's just... <laughs> I'm living the dream. <laughs> if you haven't lived until so you've lived with Jimmy. <laughs> But like I was saying earlier, in Karen's defense, she's been trying to warn us for a couple of years. And yes, and I did. I did now, try to warn. She did. Now that we've seen it's come to fruition. She did. Now that you actually live with yeah. other people, yeah. you see more yeah. of phone calls back and forth and FaceTime back and forth. It's a whole different ballpark. But it's still good. It's still really good. Yeah. It's all fun. Yeah. Yeah. If you like so. what we're doing, we hope you'll consider subscribing to our oh. YouTube channel and, and our Facebook page. Checking out our Facebook page, see your which Facebook is called, page. which is called, your it's Facebook. the same, the Two Travelers, the two in, travelers Mexico. in Mexico. Mm -hmm. Thank you. There's more things on the Facebook page than there yeah. is, you know. We do, we talk about this. more day-to-day -day stuff there. Yeah. See Articles. her oven. Oh. See her oven. Yeah. Yes, she's got her oven. <laughs> Finally, thank you, Lord. <laughs> Finally, almost two months. In a couple of days, it would have been a full two, two months. months yeah. But yeah. they came yesterday because Jimmy was on it for wow. us, weren't well, you? Well, he is so because annoying <laughs> that they yeah. would, they were like, are you kidding? Yeah. We'll, we'll manufacture yeah. the glass and get it over there. Yeah. Yeah. But still no brownies, may I say. I've he showed up ready to camp days. out in front of their doorstep for as many days as it was going to take. <laughs> I was going to sleep there waiting for yeah. it. Actually, they said it was going to come on a Saturday. Came on and a it did. And they showed up in a Volkswagen on a Friday. Oh, on a Friday, Friday. Friday. The day yeah. after I went. They were there. Uh -huh. They wanted. That's how annoying so. he is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I annoyed the, the Jesus. Mind. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I annoyed them. All right. So if All ever right. you need somebody to be annoying enough, where you're going to get something done, he's the guy. Yeah. He's the guy. He'll do it for you. Just yeah. just post in the below. notes below. You need my help, and I'll make a call. And then you'll have a friend for life. Yes. <laughs> I'll, I'll even come over your house for a while. There you okay. go. Okay. In any case, join the Facebook page. I'll post my picture on there if anybody wants to frame it. Believe how much Jimmy has changed since moving here. He looks hundreds of years younger now than he yes, used to. And I will show you a picture from when he first moved here. How's my hair look? Your hair looks dynamite. It always looks good. Oh, please. Is it and good? it looks good. Is it pumpy up here? No, it looks so, great. I'm ready. All right, so as always, Karen. What, what she did. did. Bye, guys. <laughs>